Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got another awesome game from Liquid Hero from the Razor Replay Pack of the Week. It's released every, well pretty much every Thursday on Team Liquid Pro and it's always from one of their awesome, awesome players. Usually most of the games are from the Korean ladder as this one is. It is between Hero who is the Red Protoss player and Major who is the Blue Terran player in the top right. It is a PVT and it's on Cloud Kingdom. This should be so, so good. So I hope you're getting excited. I've got excited about pretty much every game of Heroes I've cast. Actually, I think that's like I've got excited about every game I've cast of a Liquid Replay Pack of the Week because they're always fantastic. Like. You know some people like release packs and they just stick all of their games in there and it's a bit like, well, yeah, that one, that's okay, like, yeah, you played well, well done. But like, no, Liquid, when they release the replay packs of the week, they file them down, they look through and they find the good games and every single game is usually pretty epic. And the other thing I really like is they don't always just put games of their player winning. Like, I've cast two now, I think, where Heroes lost. So, that's pretty fun. It's not biased or anything like that, so that's really, really good. What can we expect from these two players? Well, a PvT. Well, really, the easy way to think about it is from the Terran side, in my opinion. And that's that they're going to make Marines, they're going to make Marauders, and they're going to make Medivacs. And that's really his target. To get Stim out, Major knows that stimmed marines and marauders wreck gateway units like it's not even funny when you throw medivacs in there as well it just gets sick like it's actually you start feeling a bit mean so how does protoss deal with that well if you're a hero you think well i can either get colossi or i can get high templar and storms and that's really your two options the only two options available to you and that really triggers major to either get ghosts or viking and Essentially, that's that's a long way down the line. There's lots of different openings that can happen, um, and essentially, what Major will do will be kind of based on Hero. But Hero, he has to just decide when he's going to go for that sort of push. I mean, there's obviously options to attack earlier on for both players. There's options to expand. Generally, though, you tend to see in PVTs slightly later expansions, just because otherwise you're in a bit of threat from really early pressure. I mean, in any matchup with Zergs in it, you tend to see expansions a bit quicker, just because of how the Zerg plays. But as I say that, like literally, as I say that, we'll see Major here just go for a one max command center build because you know some of these players they they listen to what I say in the future and then they do something different just to make me look silly. It's brilliant. But Hero, he's definitely going to stay back a bit more because he has to play on the safe side, um, and that's exactly what he's going to do. He's got his cyber core down now. He's already started on that warp gate tech. He's chrono boosting out on the nexus that's really critical if you see the corner be on the nexus you know they're going for probes if you see it on the cyber core you know they're going for early pressure um, that's a really really big huge massive tell the bunker coming down anyway here though for major and essentially this is all pretty straight up he's getting a double gas on top of this which is pretty standard it just means he'll be able to get that tech lab out faster start that stim because stim takes an eternity to build and once he's got all that down then He's going to be in a good spot. Obviously, this bunker obviously means any kind of one zealot stalker pressure. That doesn't do much at all. But judging by the fact that Hero's just thrown down his own nexus, completely ruining my point that it's unlikely to see anything super quick, then, um, to be honest, Major's safe. Both of these players are safe. They're not going to be putting pressure on each other nearly at all. So, um, we will be going into the mid game. Here comes down a really early factory actually. Um, that's almost certainly going to be there for the starport. You don't see many tanks in TVP, hardly at all actually. Um, so, definitely just to get the starport out. Going to be a very, very early starport in which case. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Another rack's coming down. Meanwhile, down at Hero's side, well, he's still just getting that second gas. He's adding on pilot. Kind of boosting out that warp gate tech now, and he's also got that second gateway. Meanwhile, good scouting by Major. Really, really nice. What has Hero actually seen? Well, Hero does know that base went down. That's what triggered him to get his own base really quite quickly. And. I don't think he got a count on the gases, but obviously we do know Major has got a good gas count. He knows exactly what's down. He knows the timing of this Nexus. He knows what's being built. These two sentries are a really big tell. If you see sentries as the first few units, you know you're not going to be really having to deal with much pressure. Whereas if you saw stalkers, for example, you may be a little more concerned. Um, getting the sentries is very, very defensive. That's not because they can't do anything themselves. It's just the, they're more of a defensive play with the force field. They're more gearing towards the mid game. The starport's on the way with a tech lab on it. See mode coming out what I I don't remember the last TVP I saw tanks in but hey 
that is what we're going to get. We're going to be getting those tanks. There's a pylon down here. This is a lot of zealots coming in. So here he's about to put on a lot of pressure, actually. Um, with those sentries there, this could be quite tough. The sentries will force field to prevent the bunker being repaired, almost certainly. And in come all of those zealots. The SCVs are getting pulled as quickly as they can. But as expected, there goes down the force field. The repair will not get off in time. And the bunker's down. That's looking really good. And Hero wisely just pulling back. He's like, well, I, I killed your bunker. So... That's all I really need to commit to at the moment. Um, just going to sit back. May see another warp in of units. Two stalkers coming in just to help deal with those marines. The tank is there though. And seriously, I, I don't remember the last time I saw a tank in TVP. It, it's just been ages. But anyway, here we go. We've got those Zetas. They are getting cleaned up by the tank though pretty nicely. Those stalkers taking huge damage. And this is going to be pushed back very, very easily now by Major. Now that tank is there. The Medivac's out as well. Siege mode is done. Um, and still more tanks coming up. This is... I'm not imagining it, but I suddenly, have I got delirious from casting so many games in a row? Do you not get, like, I, seriously, speechless, speechless right there. But tanks, if, if you can make them work, fantastic, but we'll probably see heroes transition a lot more into something to deal with those tanks effectively. Um, well, he's getting out Colossi, that's his first port of call. Cool. But obviously that starport is already there. No reactor line though. More barracks coming out here for Major as well. Major is clearing up that pylon. He does not want that out. And this is gearing up to be quite a hefty army actually. I mean, if this was a TVZ for example, this is a scary force for a Zerg player to deal with at this stage of the game. It's something which can be irritating and can be quite risky. Meanwhile, the third and fourth gas on the way out for Major. Back down at Heroes Base. He's got that uh, Robo Bay down. He's not getting extended thermal launch yet. He's got two more gateways on the way. He's also queued up that first class. So he's got two Immortals out. They're going to be very, very helpful against the tanks. Um, we'll see the Stalker numbers exceptionally low. You don't want to be getting Stalkers out in this situation, really, because the tanks, they decimate Stalkers. You just, you just lose it all. Got drop gearing up to come down now, and that could be pretty damn good. Um, it just depends what Hero does, but Hero's getting out a lot more Zealots. We may actually even see a Twilight Council out soon to get charged, just to make those more effective. Two tanks defending this high ground here absolutely amazingly. So, to be honest, Majors, he's sitting on two bases perfectly happily for the moment. Just building up the medevac numbers. This observer is seeing absolutely everything, though. Meanwhile, the drop is coming down to this natural. We'll all get picked up, though, because you don't want to be engaging. Only two Stalkers, though, mean that medevac will be able to run away very very simple and combat shield and stim only just starting now the stim is really really late this is not going to be done until well into sort of 12 minutes maybe oh, 13 probably um, and that's really late for stim you usually see a lot of turn players rushed out but the twilight council on its way down for hero at the moment that's going to be really essential probably going to see charge on that um, there we go so everything going as should be expected and still the tank production coming out here for by major this is this is really unusual you don't see many tanks because i mean once you start getting immortal and zealots in there tanks aren't that effective against protoss which is why so many favor the marauders marine marauder medevac build into ghosts or vikings still viking production hasn't yet started which i must say is a little bit strange We're moving over to this reactor now and that's going to start really should trigger the medevac production this colossi is forward though and these two tanks could do an awful lot of damage to it very very quickly i mean well, already all of its shields go in one, and Hero, he does need to be careful here, he doesn't want to engage too soon, but it looks like Hero is gearing up to take his third base out, putting a great spot, getting those Templar archives down as well, so we should be seeing some Archons and also High Templar out very, very shortly. The Forge is on its way out for upgrades, there are, as far as I can see, just this one engineering bay, getting plus one infantry weapons as we speak. Meanwhile, Storm, it's on its way, Charge, it's about to finish up. We've got upgrade-wise for Hero, we've got no upgrades yet, the Forge has just finished, hasn't started upgrading anything yet, concussive shells on the way, stim nearly finished up as well now for major, that should be done, well, just before the 13 minute mark, and these two players have kind of reached a bit of a stalemate, um, neither wants to engage, I mean, major has just such a strong defense position with these tanks, the trouble is, can't help but feel like he's pinning himself back on two bases, and obviously this is just allowing Hero to take down this third base, which obviously is fantastic for him, he's dropped that nexus now, and actually getting a second forge up, so double upgrades going to be coming out for Hero, that's essential. Chrono Boost will probably be spent on it. Meanwhile, um, 
well, actually currently Chrono Base going down on that Templar Archives for Storm, and that will really help deal with the medevac, well, with the Marines and the Marauders, but again, this is a scary, scary looking force, the supply lead for Major there, the army supply very much, about 25 supply more army for Major, which is very, very significant. If we look at the work count, 62 to 59, when you take mules into account, Major's probably slightly ahead economically, if you look at the income, Actually, it's surprisingly even, very, very close indeed, but this is a good defensive position, the High Templar there, Scan goes off, the Siege does come down, and really the third base could be looking to be in trouble, a couple of free Viking shots go off on that Colossi, wants to be careful, he doesn't want to engage too soon, there is that only one Colossi, but the High Templar are in there, Storm is done, that is going to be critical, the tanks leapfrogging their way forward, and really, this is great by Major, he's, gonna, he's using the Vikings for the high ground vision, he's leapfrogging the tanks forward, trying to get into range of this third base, because essentially with just the one Colossi, it could be quite tough to deal with, but here they all come down, and charge on these Zealots is so effective, running in, but the Med Marines are behind with the Medivac support as well, they're fine, Colossi does get taken down, and loss-wise, this is definitely coming out in favour of Major, he lands the Vikings as well, the Marines pushing forward, being very, very careful, but storms are always the concern, um, Major just needs to spread out these Marines, he's going for third base, but a huge storm goes down, that gets quite a few units, and that is probably going to force him to move back, another big storm, the tanks raining down fire, but tanks aren't that effective against Zealots, but still, we will see that Hero, he's having quite a lot of problems, those medevacs are getting, well, they're really high on energy, so that's fine, but the numbers of units are getting considerably low, the first Archon's in there now, that Immortal not too useful, there aren't any, many Marauders, but another wave of Zealots come in, charge goes down, obviously you've got to remember, tanks splash friendly units as well, which is never fun, and this push has now been cleaned up by Hero, so great control, and most importantly, he kept up this third base, that's what's really mattered, and and that is exactly what he did. Now, Major, that was a big two base commitment. He's got a lot of units. It was forced back. He's now got the supply disadvantage. But most importantly, he doesn't have this third base here. He's even got that Zealot there ready to see when it goes down. He knows he's a base up. He's in a good spot. He's really just got to keep warping in units. And he can almost go for a big counter push now. If we look at the army supply, pretty much even. I mean, one supply difference. These Zealots are getting cleaned up. And now, a much more traditional type build coming out of Major now, um, that tank play was obviously for literally the purpose he just demonstrated as a container and defensive player, third command centre on its way down, the fact we've even been moved off that tech lab and we're back into Marine Marauder, I feel less stupid now, this isn't something crazy but a big big storm comes down there by Hero, um, but the units they pull back and really fighting in this choke isn't great for Major because he's just going to keep getting stormed every time he runs down there and nothing else, it wakes medevac energy but there's just so many medevacs he's almost simultaneously healing that entire army but still we've got a lot of zealots in there a lot of immortals and well still so far it seems like Major's holding on but to be honest Hero is putting that pressure on this tank is being a bit of a pain though but the tank doing an awful lot of damage to his own units as well with that splash but reinforcements are coming in more zealots are just running their way down there's a good stim board there will catch a few off guard with a concussive shell upgrade good stutter step micro coming out from all of these players and well what else can Hero do he can he can pull back he's obviously got that third base Great spot there. We see the Ghost Academy coming down now. That is going to be essential to deal with the Protoss army as more and more High Temple on Archons get in there. The EMP will become absolutely critical. So will the Snipe. And essentially that can't come out quickly enough for Major, who's now just landing his third base. Hero, though, he's got his third base perfectly happily. He's been mining off that for quite a long time. If we look at the income tab, well, very, very much in favour of Hero there, both gas and minerals, and that includes the mule income. Meanwhile, the 5th and 6th gas on the way out for Major. Major's medevac count is getting stupidly high, already up to 13 medevacs. Um, the Viking production has been cut very, very wisely. Those tanks, I mean, they're just being a pain. They're getting some free pot shots off on Hero's army. Um, Hero's just having, I think it's only one on the field now, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, that's just that one tank is actually being quite a nuisance for Hero because it's just adding to the defensive position of Major and well what can Hero do? He's got to try and fight out in the centre ground but again with Stim, with Stutter Step Micro obviously Terence and Hamlet really really utilise that to their advantage. 
a bit of a missed storm there by Hero, but still, he's whittling down this force. But now this third base is down for Major. We're going to see this going a lot later. A good attempt here by Hero to come around the back of this third base, but obviously these High Temple are just walking to their death, which is never a nice sight at all. Um, does get the storm off, which will do some damage, but obviously he's trying to get that into the mineral line to pick up a lot of SCVs. Got to say, for the moment, it feels like Hero is not doing too badly. He's really containing these three medevacs. They are coming down, almost trying to fake a drop, but kind of we do see Hero, he's got the better arc, he's really splitting up Major's force from his natural base onwards, a good force field on that ramp to prevent reinforcements out of range of this tank now, and this is just great use of these mortars, trying to stim them as best they can, some great feedback on the medevac as well, that is very, very effective, that small force will get cleaned up, and that will put Hero good supply ahead actually. Um, some good storms go down, second one didn't quite hit the target, and Archon for basically free there, that is never an engagement you want. Up to 3-3 three, three upgrades here for Hero, that is compared to the 2-2 two, two only just starting out for Major, so a much, much better upgrade advantage for Hero at the moment. And that is a good storm right there, and what Hero is doing here is absolutely fantastic, little engagements doesn't want to commit, wants to waste the energy on these medevacs, wants to try and get them down, just wear down Major's force as best he can. But at some point he's got to deal with this third base, and that is exactly what this force of zealots are for. There's nothing there to see it coming, and obviously Hero has secured his fourth base behind this. This fourth base, that's going to be critical, but it is exposed to the high ground up here, so some marines could just sit up there, take some pop shots, add probes. But look at this, a warp in a pile on the high ground to give the vision absolutely perfect. This third base though, this is suddenly looking to be in trouble. These are three, three zealots. They absolutely shred everything, but there are some forces coming back in order to deal with this. So it will get cleaned up. But obviously the bunker's down, which means if this was to be repeated, those zealots could go straight to the mineral line. Meanwhile, the natural base for Major nearly mined out. The main base obviously completely mined out. That's compared to, well, a mined out main base for Hero, but Hero's natural. Still got a couple of minerals left, and of course this fourth base critically is a base up exactly where he wants to be. Supplies are dead equal though. If we look at the army supply though, slightly in favour of Major by about 10 supply. And we've got Hero going yet again trying to push up here, but with just so... With such a tight choke and so many units close there, the Archons can't quite get in range. But here we go, we've got Hero pushing up, he's pushing forward, he's getting some good storms off, and he's cleaned out that tank, which is causing him some annoyance. That war prism being used to provide the warp in. Absolutely great play by Hero, and there is the GG by Major. So, that was an awesome example of Protoss play against Terran, even with a bit of an unorthodox tank play. Um, but great defense of that attempt at his third there by Hero. So if you did like this game, it would be a massive favor if you could give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Also, please leave any comments about the game or the casting in the comment section below. And really subscribe if you did enjoy the cast. New games up every single day by awesome players like Liquid Hero, um, obviously kind of all the high-end people I get games from, so do check that out, and most importantly, if you did enjoy, tune back again, um, and I really hope you enjoy the cast. So thank you very much for watching, and catch you again soon.